Welcome to What's Up Woodbury, where we believe that a community is more than just a group of people living in a particular area. A community is made up of people, businesses, and nonprofits who are there to serve us when we need it most. Community is our friends, our family, and our neighbors. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your community. This is your Woodbury. I'm your host, Matt Johnson of A New Real Estate Group, here to bring you the latest and the greatest of what's happening around town. Good afternoon, Matt Johnson here from Keller Williams Premier Realty. Another episode of What's Up Woodbury happening today. Uh, today I'm joined by Leah Huxtable, who's going to tell us a little bit more about her event coming up called The Bash for Brains. We're excited about that. Um, as always, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please uh, do subscribe on the podcast and leave us a little feedback or a rating that'll help get the, uh, the podcast pushed to the top of the search results in iTunes. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, Leah, Yes. tell me a little bit about who you are, where you come from, that kind of thing. All right. Um, well, I live in Woodbury. Yeah. I have four children. Awesome. Um, and I... You know, have, we've been here for almost 13 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very cool. 13 mm -hmm. years. Were you originally from the Twin Cities area or? For the most part, yeah. Mm -hmm. We bounced around a little bit when I was a kid. But yeah, we gotcha. I landed in Egan, went to high school there. So, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Love Great community. Here. And I mentioned earlier the Bash for Brains. Yeah. What's that all about? So about, let's see, I'm trying to think now. In 2010, my mom, Lucy, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. She okay. was 59. As you can imagine, it was pretty devastating. She was um, a teacher in Egan, still um, a wonderful lady, and she had a lot, a lot of great things left to do. Sure. And um, that diagnosis was devastating to us. Um, about a year after that, she started. She moved to my house and lived with us here in Woodbury okay. um, for about three years while she struggled with the disease. And my family and I were, you know, doing some things to try to support the the research piece of the Alzheimer's Association, mm -hmm. um, but kind of felt like we weren't making very much impact mm -hmm. and wanted to do more. And we, we, I think I told you this earlier, but we just kind of were trying to figure out what, what do we do well? And it's throwing parties. <laughs> and yes. so the Bash for Brains, it actually was called the um, Alzheimer's Backyard Bash initially. Okay. Um, it changed over to the Bash for Brains about three years ago. And... You know, it, we, it started out really small. I think we had about 50 people in my backyard the first year. Okay. Um, and it caught on. I think people really um, came out to support in a way that was surprising and exciting to us. Right. And um, it has grown really significantly over the last... It's We have done six now, so mm -hmm. this will be our seventh annual. Um, it's always held in my backyard in Woodbury. Awesome. And um, this year it has a new location. I have a new backyard. Wonderful. So, new yeah. backyard, new yeah. location. Yeah. Uh, hopefully a little more room, because I know your yes. event's been growing, right? It's quite a bit, absolutely. Yeah. So about how many attendees do you expect this year for your bash? We are hoping to have 500 in attendance wow. this year. Yep. That's huge. And we had about a little over 300 last year. It was very tight in the backyard. Sure, um, sure. This year we have a little bit more space. So, yeah, we're hoping that uh, more people will join us. It's a great event. We have a really, really good time. Awesome. So. What's the typical event look like? Uh is there entertainment or yeah. that kind of thing? Yeah, so it is dinner and drinks included with your ticket price, okay. as well as live music. Um, the live music is a band this year called Power Tap. Look oh, them fun. up. They're great. Um, they do mostly cover stuff, and okay. it's a really good time. We have a dance party at the end. Um, and they we also have a large silent auction and raffle. Um, and some games and all kinds of other things to kind sure. of just get people running around. But it's around family friendly, time. right? It is adults only. Okay, gotcha. Yep. <laughs> we've always talked about adding kids in, um, yeah. but the logistics are tricky, and so we've decided to keep it adults only, and it has sure. been very successful that way. So, so get you find, your babysitter and have a nice night out. I like that idea. Yeah. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so the Bash for Brains, you mentioned there's silent auctions, a lot of different fundraising. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how community can come together when you know something that touched you so close with mm -hmm. your mother and, and that, that challenge with the disease and the people around you seeing that and mm -hmm. experiencing that and then coming together to support um, for, for good things moving in that direction. That's yeah, really I mean, cool. it's kind of remarkable. We've seen the, the generosity of this community mm -hmm. grow so much over these years with the bash growing as it has. And so many people are affected by this disease. Right. It's one in six oh, wow. um, after the age of 70. And so it's, it, it is a ridiculously rampant. And yeah. um, almost everyone that I know who, ha you know, I 
communicate with in every way, and Woodbury has mm-hmm. been touched by it in some way, and so are interested in coming for that reason, and they bring their friends, and awesome. it's a really great time, um, yeah. but it's also, we do do a presentation, and um, we're also trying to fund a grant this year. We started it last year um, okay. that I think will really affect Woodbury residents positively. Directly? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I look forward to learning more about that down the road. Yeah. Um, wanted to ask as well, though, um, because I learned of this event mm-hmm. and the connection through the Woodbury Community Foundation. Mm-hmm. So um, the Woodbury Community Foundation was established about a dozen years ago as the Friends of Woodbury, Mm -hmm. and it supports uh, causes and opportunities in the community that matter. And this is one of those opportunities that came up, and you've been able to partner with the Community Foundation? Mm -hmm. So the Community Foundation is, um, we're we're sort of under their umbrella now, which has been really helpful to us. They um, act as our fiscal agent, but more importantly, they're helping to um, facilitate this fund. Mm -hmm. It's called the Bachelor Brains Fund, and what it will do is um, help community members receive respite care financing. Um, respite care is one of the things that is can be very, very expensive um, mm-hmm. for people suffering and their, their caregivers. And, um, you know, it, one, of the, one, of, one of the things that can make the most impact on a caregiver's ability to continue doing that work is mm-hmm. whether or not they can, really, you know, have some relief from it on occasion. Sure. And like I said, it's very expensive. Um, we were lucky enough to have the means to be able to handle that for my mom, and it gave me the respite that I needed right. um, as her care provider, but most people just don't have it. And sure. so the fund will, um, you know, through an application process, people will be able to receive funds to, you know, just help give them a break sure. here and there. And yeah. it's incredibly important because a lot of times these care caregivers are passing away before the patient because right. they're just, there's so much stress involved. In it. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's a grueling mm-hmm. experience. Not that I know anything about it, but from what I understand, yeah. physically, mentally, and then emotionally, yeah. especially, just very dealing trying. with that, that, that process. Yeah. Crazy. So, well, that's good stuff. Um, and the Bash for Brains obviously has supporters as well. Yeah. Uh, do you have opportunities for sponsorship, corporate sponsors, mm-hmm. that kind of thing yep. as well? Yeah, we're still in the process of securing more sponsorships. Sure. Um, so far we have, from a, a couple of different sponsors that have been supporters in the past, Orange Theory Fitness, which mm-hmm. I'm sure you know awesome. of, um, Custom One Homes, sure. um, I'm trying to think of. Morgan Stanley is mm-hmm. supporting this year. We have lots of feelers out. So, Wonderful. yes, absolutely, we have sponsorship opportunities, and I can give information. Um, yeah, how do we learn that. more about that? Yeah. Is there a website? Yep, or? bashforbrains.com. Okay. Um, we're also always looking for more silent auction items that sure. if people are, you know, have experiences or things that they would be willing to donate, we're mm-hmm. always looking for more. Um, and we're hoping to raise about $80,000 at the Bash this year. Awesome. So, big goals. I hope yeah. a lot of people will come out. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. And that's open to the anybody public. who wants to. You just go to the website. You can yep. buy some tickets. Yep. I know you have a special going on right now. We do. Through the 4th of July, um, you can get four tickets for the price of three. Um, tickets are $40 uh, ahead and $50 at the door. So you get four tickets for 120 which is quite a deal. It's something we've never done before. But we just are hoping to, you know, be able to plan better this year than we have ever been able to before. So. Yeah, I can't imagine having 300 people just show, show up in your at your backyard. backyard. It's a little crazy. But <laughs> who's cooking Johnson Johnsonville brats? Right? <laughs> <laughs> the food is really good too. Yeah, we have a great time. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what I love about the community foundation is is providing resources and the tools for an organization like yours to come in and leverage that um, to to do something that's unique. That's mm-hmm. Um, providing an opportunity that you don't normally hear of, you know, mm-hmm. the Red Cross and their blood donation. They, we've got a lot of great things going on, both, you know, locally, regionally, and nationally, but there's all these little pockets of opportunities where people could use some help. It's the coolest really part cool. about the Community Foundation, as far as I'm concerned. They look for problems mm-hmm. that they can fix. It's really a cool yeah. deal. Yeah, so good deal. We're well, appreciative to be kind of under their under their umbrella. So like Woodbury for 13 years. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite part about living here in Woodbury? I'd have to say, you know, like I said, I have four kids. They've mm-hmm. come up through the, the school system and the um, sports system and all sure. of that. And I, I feel like, really, there's no better place right now to be raising kids. We have such great community awesome. support through those 
um, different avenues, and mm-hmm. they, my kids just love being being here. So very cool. Very yeah, cool. That'd be my favorite. You guys like to eat out, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Favorite restaurant in town? Ooh. Actually, it's Cravings. Yeah? Mm-hmm. The wine Love bar. Cravings. Right next door. Great food, Absolutely. awesome desserts. Yeah, the, the desserts are the best there. Mm-hmm. Now, they used to have bacon-wrapped um, scallops. scallops. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are the best. Bacon-wrapped scallops at and Cravings. Like, have you ever tried the bread pudding? I don't believe so. You need to. Even I if you don't like bread pudding, you should eat it. Because a need for a date night. It's <laughs> delicious. Go to Cravings, eat bread pudding. That's my recommendation. And of course, the wine. They're a yeah. big supporter of the foundation. They've been helpful in our uh, wine poll for our Chef Fest event for a couple yeah. of years now, which is awesome. We love having love that Chef connection. Fest. Yeah. Any other favorite places to shop or um, hangouts that you like in town? Let's see. I... I'm really glad that Athleta has just come to Woodbury. Okay. Quite excited about that. Um, and Target. I'm guessing you're an Orange Target. Theory fitness person. Yep, I go to yeah. Orange Theory. I love Orange Theory. Spent sure. a lot of time there, too. Cool. That has changed my life, actually. So. Awesome. Um, so I think that I forgot to mention the date of the bash, but it is there September 14th. There we go. 14th. Yeah, closing remarks. <laughs> let's, let's wrap it up. Um, so the bash for brains. Yep. Is in the fall. It's coming yep. up, you said? September 14th. Awesome. From and 6 to 11. 6 to 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, find out more information at bashforbrains.com. Tickets are available there. Um, we also have a Facebook page and an Instagram. Cool. To we'll take keep the Facebook on this. Updates. And yeah. get some people through that. Absolutely. We're probably going to be doing some busing. Um, for people into the bash through, oh, from throughout Woodbury. Yeah. Um, so actually, it sounds like the Goddard School is going to be helping us with oh, that wonderful. as well. They're, they're a sponsor. Shannon's so. wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good mm-hmm. people at the Goddard School. Absolutely. Yeah, they're amazing. So. Very cool. Well, that's it for this week's What's Up Woodbury. We hope you tune in again. Like I said, I uh, want to thank my guest, Leah Huxtable, and the Bash for Brains for being out today. Thank um, you for having me. And thank you for checking us out. Uh, Otherwise, make it a great week. Again, I'm Matt Johnson from Keller Williams. We appreciate you tuning in. Thanks. Well, folks, that wraps up another episode of What's Up Woodbury. If you enjoyed our program today and are interested in hearing more, please take a moment to subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever you listen to great podcasts just like this. Your feedback is valuable, so please take a minute to give us a five-star review, and we'll be sure you are rewarded. Thank you again for tuning in today. We hope to see you around town.